Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And today let's talk about a subject that can be a bit controversial. And that's the subject of using big or small rods uh, for steelhead, specifically two-handers. So, for example, if I was told you I was going to go out and fish in our local Grand River for our local fish, which run 5-7 pounds typically, and I was going to use a 15-foot 10-11, you'd think I'm nuts. That's way too much rod for our fish. But is it really? Uh, there's an issue here about the leverage we're able to put on a fish with a fishing rod and uh, it's not exactly what you would think. If you were to go to the UK to buy a salmon rod, you'd be looking at a 12.78, a 13.89, a 14.9.10, a 15 foot 1011, or a 16 foot 11.12. Now what's interesting about that range of rods is they're all designed to land the same size fish, Atlantic salmon. The reason why we have a difference between them is that they're designed for different sized rivers. The bigger the rod, or the bigger the river, I should say, the bigger the rod. So if you're fishing a small river, you use the 1278. If you're fishing a big river like the Tay, you'd use the 16 foot 11 12. Now here's what's interesting, and I've actually done the test. I've had a 12 foot 7 8 and a 15 foot 10 11, and I've had somebody hold an electronic fish scale, and I held the rod at a right angle, perpendicular to the fly line, and I pulled as hard as I could, and th that person measured the amount of pressure I was putting on the scale with the rod. And I mean, I really bent it way more than I normally would bend it when fighting a fish. And I did that with the 12 foot 7 8 and the 15 foot 10 11. Guess what? They both applied the same amount of pressure on the fish scale, about 1.6 to 1.7 pounds. The longer the rod, the less leverage we have on a fish, which is the reason why when they're fishing for tuna, they don't use 15-foot rods. They use a 5.5 to 6-foot rod because they want the leverage in the fishing rod. Very long rods put less leverage on a fish. The fish has the advantage. I've had my butt kicked by a 10-pound steelhead when using that 15-foot 1011. So really what we should be looking at is the size of our river, not the size of the fish. So we match the rod to the river. So, you know, a, a creek, I might go with a 11-foot switch rod, for example. And, you know, I want to get into a slightly bigger river, like, let's say, the credit here that goes through Mississauga in Ontario. I might look at a 12-foot 7-8. Uh, and then I can go up to 13, 7, uh, 8, 9, 14, 9, 10, 15, 10, 11. My local river is so wide. Some of the runs are so wide. I mean, you take a long cast to really cover them well. And so a 15 foot 10 11 is an ideal size rod to cover those runs. Uh, and, you know, using a little rod, you're just working harder. I mean, you can actually cover the run a, with a lot less work with a 15 foot 10 11 than an 11 foot switch rod. In fact, you can't even cover the runs with an 11 foot switch rod unless you're some kind of tournament caster. So having a 15 foot 10 11 means I work less hard and I cover the run. But when it comes to fighting the fish, it's basically the same amount of fun. I've had a great deal of fun with the 15 foot 10 11 with a 5 pound steelhead. So you don't need to think in terms that you have to scale down your rod to, in order to make the, the fight fun. You don't. A 12 7 8 and a 15 foot 10 11 put the same pressure on a fish. It's just the different size river that you're going to use them on. It has nothing to do with the size of the fish. Steelhead will put a big bend in a 15 foot 10 11. And trust me, as I say, I've had my butt kicked by steelhead when using that rod. So uh, don't be afraid that you're overpowering the fish. You're not. You're making your life easier to cover big runs. So if you're on a small river, you don't need it. But you're on a river, I mean, uh, in Caledonia, my river is almost 200 yards wide, and you can wade the whole thing in normal flows, and the fish can be anywhere. So you have to have the ability to cover a lot of water, and you just catch more fish as a consequence. So the next time you go buying a rod, don't get talked into this idea that only small rods make the fish fun. 15 foot 10 11 is a lot of fun and you can cover the runs without working hard. And you can, if you're a fish in a big river, that's what you should be using. So remember that next time you're in a tackle shop looking for a new two-hander. Cheers.